Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today's video is called The Pros and Cons of Zoom Voice Over IP Phone Service, also known as Zoom Phone. So, for those of you who may or may not know, we did a video talking about Zoom's phone service approximately about a month, month and a half ago. Um, at the time of that video, or up until that video, I personally didn't even know that Zoom even had a Voice Over IP phone service until I was on the phone with a customer that mentioned it and said that they saw it in passing and I said, huh, let me go ahead and get with the powers that be at Zoom, find out what this is, investigate, and maybe even do a video. And so we did. Um, I'll tag that video above here, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is since then, I've had the pleasure of working with some Zoom customers as well as encountering, uh, encountering other existing Zoom customers. Um, in tandem with the ones that I have personally worked with in regards to Zoom service. And I've learned quite a bit. So today, I want to talk to you guys and go a little bit under the hood and talk about the pros and cons that we honestly see of the service. Now, before we get into this, as you guys know, I'm your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I do represent Zoom as well as many other carriers. So if you're interested in Zoom and you'd like to get my honest opinion of if it may or may not be right for your business, get a quote with special pricing or have me put you in contact with some of my contacts to get a demo so you can see if you think the platform will work for you, I'm your guy. So let's jump right into this, into the pros and cons of Zoom phone service, also known as Zoom phone. So it's no secret that everybody knows what Zoom is. Um, because, you know, of recent news with, you know, ever since the pandemic and all that hit, uh, you know, video conferencing has become the new thing. And so everybody has, you know, knows what Zoom is. Not everybody knows that they have phone service. So let's hop directly in. Oh, I want to give a quick overview, actually. For quick overview, which we're not going to get into in the pros and cons is their service runs between 10 to $15 a month. Um, there's a $10 a month tier and then there's a $15 a month tier. I'm not going to get into what all that is. Again, I'll tag the video above that talks more about that so you can see my overview of that on their actual website and what all that is. Um, they do include a mobile app, which is obviously an important thing these days with social distancing and needing the ability to work from home or work outside of the office um, and still be you know, a collaborative team. Um, they have all your typical features that the average voice over IP carrier has, like auto attendant, caller ID, music on hold, you know, call transfer, do not disturb, um, the ability to connect to a phone and all that kind of stuff, like an actual uh, physical IP phone like a Cisco or a Polycom or a Yealink. They've got that. Um, so anywho, let's jump into the pros first. As I already mentioned, one of the big pros is everybody knows what Zoom is. It's kind of become a household name like Walmart or like Vonage or something like that, thanks to the pandemic. Again, not everybody knows that they have voice over IP, but everybody knows what Zoom is, so it has become kind of sort of a trusted name or a name that everybody knows is around or that you can kind of depend on. Um, one of the biggest pros that I want to go over here is that name, with that name, because of their rising stock and because of their rising popularity, with higher demand comes, you know, lower pricing in theory with most companies. So they do tend to have one of the most lower per extension, per user, per month prices in comparison to other carriers out there. In this case, they start off as low as $15 a month. They actually do have a $10 a month tier, but that's a meter thing and we're not going to get into that. I don't personally recommend it. And again, I mentioned, I talk a little bit more on that in the other video that we did on Zoom, but their main extension that I would recommend to people that are interested in Zoom runs for about $15 per month per user. That's actually a pretty good price, um, and that's their normal price. Whereas all of the other carriers, without their COVID-19 discounts and whatnot, or special discounts that I can get you, they typically run around about $22 to $24 per month per user extension. So you're talking almost about a $10 per month savings or more, depending on the carrier that you're looking at. So that's pro number one. Pro number two, phones are supported. Now, for those of you who are watching, you know that there's a lot of other carriers out there that I speak on on my channel too, like a Call Hippo or a Grasshopper, and their main selling point is the super duper uber cheap 
price. The common pattern with all of those super duper uber cheap carriers that are named after safari animals and exotic insects, you know, and things like that from the jungle, they do not support phones. They are 100% mobile app only. Now, some of you watching might think, oh, mobile app only, that's great. But a lot of the rest of you that might be watching may be thinking, hey, I could benefit from a mobile app, but I like a physical phone as well. I'm old school, so I get you. I use my mobile app with my carrier uh, regularly, but I also have physical phones, and I prefer physical phones. So that's just me. If you need physical phones and mobile app, Zoom has it all. So that's a pro there is that they do support phones at a very low entry level price. Whereas a lot of their competitors that come in at those super low entry level prices like that, they don't support phones. They're 100% mobile app only. Let's see here. Pro number three, mobile app included, which I already mentioned at no extra cost. Now let's be real with everything that's going on with the pandemic and people needing to work from home and social distance, any voice over IP carrier at this point that's got half a brain is going to have a mobile app included because, you know, to not have a mobile app is almost kind of like a deal breaker with just everything that's going on in current news and the economy right now and just in the mobile workforce and regarding mobile workforce enablement. So for those of you who are wondering, Zoom does include a mobile app with every single user extension for every single respective, you know, user. Let's see here. Pro number four, you can have your voice over IP and your video conferencing or your video, you know, capability uh, under one roof. Obviously, it's Zoom. So you can have your phone service through them, your voice over IP phone service, as well as have your video conferencing all under the same roof. Some people don't care, but that's a big plus to be able to have your Zoom video conferencing and your Zoom phone service with your mobile apps and extensions and whatever you need for communications all under one roof. It's kind of nice to have it all under, you know, all on one bill, keep things simple and easy for, for accounting. Pro number five, um, and this is the final pro before we move into cons. Because Zoom is not a CLEC, like the big guys, like your Vonage and your Nextiva and your Ring Centrals, and then your even bigger guys, like your Verizons and your Comcast, they are not bound by a lot of the same federal and state taxes which they have to pay, which they in turn pass off to you, which ends up on your bill, um, as the other carriers. So they boast that they have one of the lowest tax rates per extension and on their bill for their users in the industry. I've seen some of these bills and I've actually played around with the calculation of the tax rates with some of my friends in high places that work at Zoom and sales and, and uh, tech support. And it is actually pretty competitive. Now, I wanna be clear. I'm not saying that you should pick your phone provider based on the lower tax bracket because there are some kick-ass voice over IP service providers out there that, in my opinion, are better and have more that they bring to the table than Zoom, but you're going to pay higher taxes. But if Zoom has everything that you feel it needs, you know, you'll enjoy a very low tax rate or no taxes at all in some areas where some of the other carriers charge taxes. Make no mistake. You're still going to have to pay for, I believe, 911. Um, and I'm not sure what other ones, you know, they may have their own internal surcharges and things like that, but you can't get upset about charging for 911 because that's the law. So, um, but definitely a much lower tax rate than what we normally see with other carriers, um, which for some people is a big deal, you know, when it comes to saving. Let's move into the cons of Zoom Voice over IP phone service, also known as Zoom Phone. Security. Now, this is no secret to anybody. While I personally do not have any clients with Zoom that I have worked with that have had any security issues, it's no secret to anybody that when the pandemic first started and everybody started using Zoom video and things like that, there were some major security issues. So much so where even public schools were almost banning the usage of Zoom because of some of the security dilemmas that they encountered when using the service. If you're somebody who's watching this video and you require some serious security, like maybe HIPAA compliance, or you know, you're dealing with like, I don't know, sensitive information and you're a big stickler about security, or you know, your parent company or conglomerate has big restrictions on security, you may want to look elsewhere because Zoom is probably not the one that you want to look for in regards to having the highest levels of security. 
Now let's be real, at the end of the day, no carrier can say that they're 100% unhackable or that they're 100% unbreachable. But I think that Zoom has been in the public light in regards to security issues a little more than most of the other mainstream guys out there in regards to video conferencing and voice over IP phone service. However, I can tell you for a fact that I have talked directly with some folks at Zoom that have confirmed that they do have some pretty big clients that you would think if Zoom's security issues were that big of a concern, they wouldn't have signed the dotted line, such as things like UPS and the federal government, like the Pentagon and things like that. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that their security is absolutely horrible. I wouldn't say that they're the best out there, but, you know, it, it, it may not be anything worth losing any sleep over at night. Um, but that's a con that may need further investigation depending on your business, depending on, like I said, the restrictions and regulations that you may have on what standards your phone service and video conferencing may need to have by security. It could be a case-by-case -case thing. So that's just something to throw out there. Let's see here. Um, con number two, and this is a big one for me, you guys. Their mobile app currently does not support texting. I know, that sounds kind of crazy, right? Their mobile app literally does not support texting. We're not talking just MMS texting. We're talking texting in general. Their mobile app currently only supports making incoming uh, calls, making outgoing calls and receiving incoming calls through your business number and segregating it from your personal cell phone and receiving voicemails to your business uh, number and being able to have that stuff segregated and separated from your business, your personal voicemail inbox and things like that. Why it doesn't have texting yet, I do not know. Um, the good news is, is I was talking with somebody just this past week before I did this video about texting, and they said that texting is currently in development and it will be out before the end of 2020. So if you really like the idea of having Zoom phone and you can do without the texting for now, um, I would say wait it out because it is coming for sure. I've confirmed that. I just don't have a solid date. All I was told was before end of 2020. If you're watching this and you require texting like right now, then Zoom is probably not the one for you. It doesn't do SMS or MMS texting. So texting is a bust for you. You know, if, if that's something you got to have, then Zoom is a is bust. And texting is unfortunately a deal breaker or the inability to text currently. The final con that I want to throw out there in this one, I won't even lie. When I heard about this, it made me laugh a little bit. You would think that if you have Zoom voice over IP phone service and you're paying upwards of $15 a month per user in your organization for their voice over IP service, it would include Zoom video conferencing, the Zoom video platform. Wrong. It does not. The Zoom video platform at the time of this video is an additional $10 per user on top of each extension. So that means if you're paying $15 a month and say you have five users, that is an additional $50, $50 per month that you would have to add to your account for all of your users to have Zoom video conferencing. Now, I know it sounds weird. When I was told this by the powers that be directly at Zoom, I was actually shocked because every other voice over IP carrier that I work with out there offers some form of free video conferencing in their platform for each user that's paying for an extension. You know, some of them it's Amazon Chime, some of them it's Zoom, like Ring Central offers Zoom for free for all users or Ring Meet or, or uh, Ring Central meetings. They give you a choice of the two. I just thought it was awkward that they don't include it for free for every user that is using their voice over IP service. Um, what a lot of customers that I've worked with to acquire Zoom are doing is they just keep continuing to use their free Zoom account um, that they already had before they were interested in Zoom phone. However you choose to do it, the short of it is, is that Zoom video conferencing is not included with their phone service. It is an additional charge of $10 extra per user per month. So, anywho, in summary, um, I'm a fan of Zoom. You know, everybody knows what it is. It's a household name at this point because of recent news and current events. Um, it's cheap, you know. While cheap is not always good, it, it actually seems to be a decent platform that's got fairly decent consumer reviews. And for $15 a month per user, that's a great price. If you can do with a mobile app that doesn't have um, text messaging in it currently. So um, it's priced well. 
And it's a name that everybody knows, you know, it's on a stable platform. Um, if you're looking for a very powerful mobile app and you require the ability for texting, look elsewhere. Um, if you need it now and you can't wait until they roll out the text messaging in their platform. Um, HIPAA compliance and security, I would think is kind of an issue. I don't know enough about their platform to be able to say whether it is or isn't secure. I just know what I've heard through recent news. And I could see some people that are maybe in high level areas like government, financial sectors, or require like serious HIPAA compliance, maybe saying no to Zoom because of some of the security risk or the things that they've heard in regards to its security risk in the news and whatnot, you know, regardless of whether it may be true or not, or what the whole story behind the security flaws may have been. Um, the other thing that I thought was good is, that, uh, in summary, was that it supports phones. Um, again, at a price point like that, $15 per month per user, most other service providers that charge around that same price, they're mobile app only. They don't support phones. So that's actually a really good price point to be a full-fledged voice over IP system that's got all the kind of features like the Fortune 500 companies are used to, and you can have actual phones and things like that, like call center grade, business grade phones on the desk or cordless IP phones and whatnot. So um, anyways, that concludes the pros and cons of Zoom, uh, you know, voice over IP phone service. If you're watching this video and you'd like to learn more, um, I represent Zoom as well as many other carriers. I can get you special pricing and a quote. I can also talk directly with you to find out if Zoom has the features and function that you require. And if you want to dig a little deeper, I can literally get you in touch with contacts and sales engineers that I work with at Zoom and set you up an actual live demo together with you so that we can look under the hood and see if the platform makes sense for you. So again, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.